Hi, I'm so glad you're here. This is Melissa, and together let's find those grounding magical moments in our lives that nourish our spirituality. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another season of this podcast. I have a small revelation to share about the word season, and it's a silly one because it's so obvious. But basically, uh, I was realizing we use the word season to describe different Uh, different stages or different sets of a TV show, and nowadays, the podcast show. And um, when I when I heard about this, when I moved to the states, and when I started watching more TV because I didn't used to watch a lot of TV, this expression of first season, second season was new to me, and I and never really. Um, Caught on to me that it's kind of removed from the word season that we use for, you know, by the definition, particular weather patterns and daylight hours resulting from the Earth's changing position with regard to the sun. That's a Google definition. Um, to me, season using season to describe different uh, collection. Series of a TV show sounds kind of self-important. Like you could say series, but use season a different, a special word for it, and it's not like they come in cycles or always have a special relationship. It's just mostly built on timeline. So using that word to describe something that's just a mere timeline seemed to me a little like.、Eh. Overly fancy, and so that's that's seasons, that's different seasons of the show.、Um, and then totally unrelated,、uh, I at one point I recorded a few podcast、uh, episodes, and I paused, and then I recorded a few more episodes, and then paused again. And this time, when I when I stopped,、uh, it was because it felt like I was feeling like I couldn't give to it anymore. And for months, I would be feeling guilty that I'm not constantly producing.、Um, and it was for it was for natural reason. I don't I don't know. If I would say it's for good reasons. For natural reasons, I have different priorities, different sources of stress,、uh, different creative input, and. Feeling out of ideas, but even during all this guilt,、uh, even though I was bashing myself for not constantly pushing myself to produce, I also believed I was taking meaningful rests and also wasn't that worried because I felt like I never intended to quit. I intend to pick it up again. It's just not knowing when. Oh, and with what that was making me feel uneasy, and so that did last for a while, and and then at, at one month I started feeling some movement in my life, in the energy around people I know and didn't know. I started noticing signs, having small ideas, and. Feeling like I'm looking forward to put ideas together soon. So instead of from feeling bad about not producing to looking forward to when I start producing again, basically looking forward to a new season coming. And when that metaphor popped into my head, that clicked. And I could understand why a new season of a show is called a new season. It is indeed a different time frame. We have moved on to a later, later time, more with more recent developments. But it's also a new outlook,、um, same topic maybe, but with a new expression. 
And so it's not just timeline eyes, as I was uh, earlier mentioning, and that's how I felt about when shows go themselves having different season. Because once you wrap up a, a production, a stage, a collection, then you inevitably you wrap up and then you clean up, you would naturally reflect and renew and and deep within me I know this is the natural way that I am starting again because I was following the the pulse of my internal season and I'm very proud of I'm very proud of having noticed that rhythm and trying to follow it despite what my brains tell me um because to see what the natural rhythm brings requires requires being patient requires letting go um trying to not control instead trying to adapt and also being receptive and now i feel like i have a bigger appreciation of show or any kind of production that continues because that's the creator or a team of creators coming back um with you know combining maybe things they have learned during uh during their resting period new new ideas new life realizations whatever it is so going in between seasons and continuing on the seasons that's it's a fantastic attunement um, to the word season, how we do things periodically and we can sort of see it through the lens of seasons. And so to anyone, if you're doubting your pace and progress, I hope the faith stays in you because the faith uh, within that along with the external conditions that changes together, they shape what is going to happen. And so that's my small revelation about the word season. You will find this season to be different from the previous one, as opposed to focusing on the daily, everyday life, mundane activities and how nature spirituality can manifest there. This season will have more deeper reflections. This week coincidentally uh, marked one full year after I moved to a new place. And so uh, this coming season will include some thoughts and new observations I have having experienced four seasons and a new landscape, new climate. And so that's it. I will see you in another episode.